Whoop and welcome to the Backer Jamie Show. No, this isn't the Backer Jamie Show. Sorry about that. This is the this Juggalettes is the, Us. the Juggalettes Us channel with the Juggalo Family Vlogger Show. And I'm Batgirl Jamie. And that's it's Twisted J. My homeboy, Twisted J. And we're here to do you a video. We're going to talk about underrated bands we think are really, really underrated. And my first pick, we're each going to pick five. My first one is Yellow Card. I think Yellow Card is fucking amazing. I bought their newest album. They're coming out with one more album and then they're breaking up, which is boo-hoo-hoo for me. But I think they're major, major, major underrated. Hmm. And their song, Ocean Avenue, is amazing off their first album. And another song I really like is Transmission Home. Yep. And a band that I really like that actually she got me into was... Uh, the last census fail record. That uh, band is so awesome. And their I last, think they are their, definitely, their newest album is fucking amazing. I think they are definitely one of the most underrated bands out there. Another underrated band. Very underrated band. I think is Motion City Soundtrack. I bought their vinyl. And I'm obsessed with their song, When You're Around. So, 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 so good. Like, the, the, um, it's got Magic Romance on the other side of the record. And it's like four songs, two from each artist. I'm, and it is so, so, so good. And I think you guys should check it. That whole album is on, um, Spotify. Yes. And I think you guys should go look that up. And another if you got me on Spotify, it's up in my uh, <laughs> vinyl I bought brand new. We each have a playlist on our on each one of our um, Spotify's for vinyl we bought brand new. Yes, and another band I feel is kind is of out there too. right now. And this one is definitely one of mine that I found on Spotify through my Discovery playlist. And I, I love actually, that. You need to go get that to do that. And this is a band that I, I actually listened to the one song they had off there. Then I ended up looking on there to see if they had a full album, and which I was, to my surprise, they really did. And it's the band Front Porch Step, which they're very folk rock mixed with punk rock vocals really really different and definitely underrated they're a band out of Ohio so I gotta spread my Midwest love there and my pick for number three is I would have to say red jumpsuit apparatus I just got back into that band like two days ago and I've been like obsessed with one of their songs um, if you guys want to check out my playlist for songs I've been listening to right now, definitely go check that out. We both have one of those for what we've been listening to right now, like our newest stuff. Like the stuff that we're really obsessed with, like right the, at the moment. Exactly. If you, um, I'll link them below in the um, box, our vi playlist. Which, like I said, I've been majority into folky punk pick? rock. Um... Another band that I'm that's kind of underrated to me is a band that Tom DeLong actually said he got basically broke his sound with uh, Blink 182 is the band All. Um, definitely, definitely underrated. He bought their vinyl. Yes, I bought their vinyl from Hot Topic, which I think I actually paid. 10 bucks for that? He paid 10 or 12 bucks for it. It was like really cheap. It was yeah, it was actually a really good deal and I actually fell in love with that band. So, um, yeah, they're definitely one. Oh, another band that I think is underrated is, I can't even think, um, what's another band that I think is underrated? Underrated. I think... America is underrated. That's my number four, America. I think people forget about that band a little bit, but I, when I when I bought their record, I realized that they have way more popular songs than you think, and you forget about them because they're only like they're like not they're not like 
a major, major band. They're like... Well, they were major for the 60s major, and 70s. No, they're a 70s band. And they were a major 70s band, but... They're like what those bands that some, some, most people forgot I about. I actually kind of feel that they kind of actually have that Uriah Heap feel to them. They have that... I feel like they have this, uh... Underground... Like, they were kind of an underground 70s group. Yeah. Like, the under, I, like the under the radar. It kind of slipped under the radar and weren't, like, super Leo Like, uh, Grand Funk Railroad. I think Grand Funk Railroad is way overrated. I, I definitely Overrated. And I Bob Seger's overrated to me, and Metallica's overrated. You can hate me all you want for that, but it's my opinion. But that's where I actually feel America's kind of... Like that, but where's not your, less played. What's your number four, Twisty? Number, you mean number two? No, it's your number four. I'm actually going backwards because well, of it's your bands number that four. Are, my number four. Your fourth one. My fourth one is actually. Oh, God. I really got to dig deep now. <laughs> um. I could say it's another band I bought from Hot Topic. <laughs> that doesn't matter. And is also the band Big Wig. Because I, I love my punk rock music. I do too. And even some of that old, older, well, not older, but like even 90s punk was actually semi decent. Um. I love Other punk. than that, we both really love punk, and my favorite kind of punk music is mid '90s and early '80s. Yeah, definitely. Um, but did I say big wig? Yeah. Okay. My number um, five. Okay, no, we're on our last one. This is mine. Um, my underrated band, I would have to say, is. Bulletproof Snow. Way underrated. They need to go and blow up. I think they could blow up if they got noticed. Because their CD, two CDs that they have, they're EPs, and they are freaking awesome. Like, every song on them are just great. If you took them and bought them on Spotify, not on Spotify, why did I say that? On iTunes. Like I did. Well, actually, I bought their physical album for one of them, which is Punished for My Innocence, and then I bought their other, Here We Come, on iTunes, and it, and I ripped my CD to my computer, and then I made them onto one CD so that I could just listen to them because I love them. Actually, I just put them on my... I didn't make them into a CD. I forgot. I put them on my iPod. That way I could just listen to them with my little cord that I got that I could hook into the bottom of my iPod my headphone jack and then it goes to my thing and that's the perfect way to do it but that band is way overrated I've seen them live twice they are just amazing and what's your number five twisty tie. um twisty mm, twisty tie I had it for a minute then we got to <coughs> <laughs> um god another underrated band hmm because I definitely agree that Bulletproof Snow is should be out there. Um, and they probably will do big things because they have done shows for uh, Rockstar, those Rockstar Uproar slash... It lies within. Yes, yes, definitely this band for sure. And it's the band It Lies Within, their local based, Flint based band. <laughs> That's actually got their al their newest album on Victory Records. I don't know if they have it on vinyl, which I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't. But it would be actually really, really cool if they did. <laughs> bonus, bonus, bonus underrated band that we're both going to agree with is Blue Felix and Davy Suicide. Yes. I wanted to throw them in there because we seen them at Dirt Fest and they were really good. Every a couple day. of years ago. Well, we really didn't really see see. We only seen um, Blue Felix once because we couldn't make it over to their set before they were over from a band that we really wanted to see. We have never seen before. 
We did see them the think the second year we went, or the first year. I can't Which remember. I also gotta say. But they they're really super duper duper nice guys, and they had one copy of their album that they couldn't sell because it was a. Uh, cracked so he said if I bought the, one of their albums he would throw that in one in for free so he could get rid of it without having to throw it away and thank you if you watch this video because I'm appreciative of that because I listen to that thing like which I actually me and him to... were obsessed with that record for a while after Dirt Fest when we seen him last year we didn't see Dirt Fest this year but last year we listened to it like all, every time he came over we were listening to it and jamming that album both of them. And the Davy mm -hmm. Suicides. Because I bought two of them. Remember? Yep. Which I have to give my own bonus here. Um, which I have to give a major bonus to this band. Because they are hands down one of my favorite bands to see live. And nicest guys on earth are the guys from Psycho Stick. Boop! Booyah! They are fucking amazing. And I've because seen them live three times. And I gotta say, because boobs. That's a good song, but also, <laughs> the, do you want to taco? taco? You just know we love Psycho Stick. And beer. Beer song's good. I can count. Obey the four. beard. Or is it called? I can count four. <laughs> no, it's called Numbers. Numbers, yes. The song Numbers, but they're on Spotify. Most of these bands we name, all these bands that we named, are on Spotify so go check out Spotify and I might go check out some more red jumpsuit apparatus since I'm obsessed with that one song that's on my playlist on my recent playlist which I will also be doing new music he's got new music videos coming up that he's already got pre-filmed on his channel so yep. be on the lookout um, for that and we're gonna get out of here so that you guys don't have too long of a video but go check out our channels and you know how they're linked on our channel and there's other channels linked there that we support and we watch and our friend other friends channel um ninja nerdalos is up there and the other channels that are associated with the juggalettes are us but we want to thank you guys for watching don't forget to comment rate and subscribe hit that subscribe button so you can be know when we have new videos and Hit that thumbs up if you like this video. And if you want us to see us do our top overrated bands, comment below because we might not do it if we don't get enough comments saying you want us to do our overrated bands. Bands that we think are super duper overrated. Um, But we'll talk to you later. Yes, goodbye. Love yous. Peace out. And much clown love to the Juggalo family. And much love to our viewers. And if you're a subscriber and you're returning to our channel, we much, muchly appreciate it. And if you like this video, share it so other people can watch it. Thanks. We love you. Bye.